Hi guys, what we have here is the filter regulator and lubricator by Shaco Pneumatics. So the part number is UFR slash L, the 04. So this is a one half port size. We have here how to operate the filter regulator. Uh, back here, we have the instructions for insulation with bracket and without bracket and some uh, important warnings. And here, we have the instructions of how to operate the lubricator part. So here, here's the bracket for the filter regulator. And we have the mounting bolts. And also here, the plug for the other uh, uh, pressure gauge side to connect the, uh, the pressure gauge on the other side. And here, open it up. Yeah, we have bubbles to protect the pressure gauge. So here, this is the pressure gauge. So it's a uh, 0 to 150 PSI and a dual gauge 0 to 10 kg per cm square. It's a uh, black face. So here we have the filter regulator lubricator by Shaco Pneumatics. So how do we use the filter regulator and lubricator? Well, first of all, if you're going to install the air, make sure you install it in the right, uh, right port. So we can see here, there's arrows pointing this way. And up here, there's arrows pointing this way. So we know that uh, this here is the inlet port. So this is uh, one half port size. And here is the outlet port. And when you're gonna install the pressure gauge, make sure you uh, put Teflon tape first. Uh, you can hand tighten that at first, but if you're gonna do the final tightening, please do not use your hands to final to tighten it. Use an open wrench uh, to tighten it. I think this is a 14 mm uh, wrench that you're gonna use. And for the regulator part, um, we see here if you turn it clockwise, the pressure will go up and counterclockwise it's gonna decrease the pressure and it's a push lock type meaning uh there's a lock so if you're gonna tighten change the pressure first put it pull it up like this then make sure then you set the pressure that you want then tighten it back and here what we have here is the lubricator part uh, this uh the new bottle uh used to be you have to have a screwdriver to turn it right now you can just hand tighten it so if you want to decrease the lubrication part just turn it clockwise increase it counterclockwise and here you need an allen key to open the uh, this plug so that you can fill the the lubricator part so how does the filter regulator and lubricator work so let's open it up we have here the pole we just twist to the left is the bowl guard and we have here the filter bowl with the semi auto drain and here the protection uh, for the another bowl guard for the lubricator part and it's the lubricator bowl let's open up here let's open up so what we have here is the, the, the holder for the filter element. Let's twist it to the left to un... Just make sure if you put it back, don't over tighten it, it's gonna crack the filter. So here we have the filter element. And in here we have... Yeah, we can open it up. Yeah, okay. So if you can see here, the, this is the inlet port, right? And uh, the air goes in here, uh, goes there. And we can see here, there's the plastic here. There's, a, uh, there's an angle, the uh, buffered. So what it does is um, when the air goes in, it's going to make the air spin. Okay, it's making the air spin. And here's the filter bowl. So the air, of course, uh, air going in, there will be some water, uh, rust, dust, um, whatever contaminants you have there. So it's going to spin here in the bowl. So all the water 
will will go here and the air will go in to the filter so the clean air will be coming out here and it's gonna go in here and to the regulator here so it's going to uh, there's an exhaust port here somewhere but oh I can't see it here you can't see it here it's, it's covered so uh, it's gonna regulate the air so the air going in here it's gonna be set if you say just uh, 70 psi so it's just 70 psi will be going in here and we have here the lubricator part so it works in a Venturi uh, uh, principle which is uh, the air goes here there will be uh, ISO VG32 lubrication oil that you will put here and it will suck the air the, the oil I mean suck a small part of the oil and mix it with the air going through out here and you can increase decrease it here and it's just gonna lubricate the air so that it won't be that it, it won't it won't be dry as uh, of course you have seals in your um, valves, uh, cylinders, and other stuff. So, this is it.